guys welcome back to my channel at home with kayla i hope that you're having a great day so far and if you enjoy today's video consider subscribing and joining our little community here i would love to have you today we are going to be reorganizing the china cabinet so this is what it looks like right now i kind of just have random things in there honestly because i got this china cabinet a few months ago when or actually before we moved into the house and and I was just, you know, excited to have one because I've never had one before, but I really want to make it look beautiful. And I have a few ideas. I got a few things from Hobby Lobby today, all of that. So I'm going to kind of work with what I have plus a few new things I got. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take everything out and then we are going to reorganize. So here we are, we've got a blank canvas, and I'm also going to clean this out some today because I haven't wiped it down yet. So <laughs> there is Apollo. He loves to follow me around, especially when I'm doing videos. I think he likes to be on camera, I don't know, <laughs> but <laughs> he was checking it out. He has not been up here before, so he's like, let me see what this is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to clean a little. So I have honestly not even <laughs> sprayed this. So I'm going to use some of the wood cleaner. Go ahead and clean it out. So when I got this china cabinet, I actually purchased it from an antique shop. And I think I got a pretty good deal on it. I can't even remember the exact price that I paid, but I think it was around $150, which I don't think is too bad for a big piece of furniture. Now, let me know if you go, you know, like thrift shopping or antique shopping, things like that. What is your favorite thing that you have found at an antique shop? Because I definitely think this is one of my favorite things that I have found. I just got really excited about it because I wanted to have a china cabinet or a hutch, you know, something like that. But I didn't realize that I could find one for so cheap. While I was at Hobby Lobby today, this is some of the stuff that I picked up. They had a lot of things that were 50% off or 75% off. So I'm really excited. So as you can see, I took some of the tags off of some of the items to kind of get ready and see what I want to put where. I did cut this down because I was thinking about putting it in this jar, but it was way too long. So I went ahead and I cut that. So we're going to put that somewhere and then kind of just go from there, see what I want to use from the stuff that I already have. Some things I have gotten at yard sales, some from antique shop and even online. This one right here, I, I know I said that the china cabinet is one of my favorite things I got from an antique shop, but I got this from an antique shop as well, and I think it's so adorable. I just love it. I saw it one day, and then I didn't get it, and then I went back another day and decided to get it because I think it's so cute with all like the little mini things. I mean, literally the little fruit, vegetable, all this, it is all this like little glass, like hand-painted, and then check this out. It, they painted it to look like a little ball uh, mason jar. I thought that was so cute. So yeah, I absolutely love this little thing. So I do want to put it somewhere. So now for actually looking through everything and deciding where I want to put it. And I hope that I got enough stuff to fill it. So I really like this little thing that I got says you will forever be my always and I got two pieces but when I was in the store I looked at them together like this and I thought it looked really nice together I think it's supposed to be hung up but I'm thinking I can just prop it here and it'll be something nice I wanted to get something with wording on it but I didn't want to get multiple things with wording because I didn't want it to be too much you know so I'm kind of hoping that the things that I got will go good with the white cabinet and then also with the walls being the green color that they are. I really like that color. So I'm trying to kind of go off of that. But I also got a couple of plates and these little stands because I didn't have any kind of stands that hold up plates, which I know some people put, you know, real fine china in their china cabinets, of course. But I don't really have any china, china. I have some nice, um, plates and bowls that we use 
for dinner and you know maybe special occasions things like that but I got these because I think they'll look nice in here it's not something that we're going to actually use you know to eat off of I'm not sure what the material of it is but it doesn't feel like a real plate but I like it for the decor so I got a couple of them so I'm hoping that they'll look good on opposite sides of each other here and then maybe we can put something in the middle. Definitely let me know what you put in your china cabinet. Do you do all china or do you kind of do different pieces to kind of decorate and do in your room? Or do you change it out for the holidays? Because I thought about doing that as well, like maybe changing it for the holidays. So I'm debating, do I want to keep it the same all the time or switch it out each time a holiday comes around. I don't know, you can see me like deep in thought here trying to decide where I want to put each piece and how I want to make this come together. I got this little Lazy Susan. I thought that was super cute. And of course, I could pull it out and use it sometime. Or I may get another one to use and just have this one as kind of decoration. So next, I was trying to decide what I wanted to put in. So I have the newer items and I also have all of this that I've had for a while. Some of these things are not really matching up with the color scheme, I guess you could say, that I'm going for. But I did want to use some of these. So this one right here, I for sure want to put that in and I think it'll work. These I got at a yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for all four of them. So that wasn't bad. But then these other little cups, I got these at an antique shop. So I really wanted to use these. And I just now discovered that they are white on the back. So I was thinking they weren't going to work with the color scheme. And then I realized that the opposite you know, on this side, it's all white, which will really look good, I think. So I am super excited that these kind of had, you know, more than one look to them. I promise I won't leave your side 
so I'm trying to decide where I want this. I thought about putting it right here, but then I just wasn't really loving the look of that. So I think I'm going to try to put it maybe on the top shelf because I still have some room on the top shelf without it being too crowded or anything like that. So let me know your thoughts if you think it looks cute here or if you like the placement when I put it up here because I'm kind of thinking that right here in this area, I don't know, when you look at it through the glass, you can kind of tell a little more how it looks but i still feel like there's something missing there like it needs something else beside it maybe i don't know I'm trying to figure it out i want to <laughs> i want it to look good but i'd really want to use that piece so i'm really trying to decide where to put it and what to do with the little cows so i'm gonna put these little flowers over here i think that that may give it just that extra little bit so it's got you know enough in that area but i'm glad that i bought a couple of those it's the same as the one that's on the bottom there but i think they were on clearance at hobby lobby i believe it was so i'm definitely really glad that i grabbed two of them so i'm not sure if i'm going to use the cows in here so we take a step back and look and kind of can get like a full perspective of everything and i still feel like there's something missing but i am liking the way that it's looking so up at the top i don't think that the light in the cabinet works but i'm thinking that those white pieces need something else so i was looking and i found this picture right here that i actually bought at tj maxx a while back and i was thinking maybe this but it's too tall obviously but then i decided to flip it sideways and when i flipped it i was like okay i think this is gonna fit so it kind of gives a little extra something like a little background for these little white measuring cups and it also goes up to the top there where you can see where the light you know is but it kind of covers that area so just in case the light doesn't work in here so before we take a look at the final result of the china cabinet and how everything looks i'm going to organize the drawers as well really quick so i have kind of just stuffed some things in here tablecloths table runners you know dish towels all of that so i think i'm just going to organize this really quickly before we look at the final result that way my whole china cabinet is in order <laughs> i'll feel a lot more organized then i need to get more table runners but i have some that are cute Awkward with sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh, they would be together. Ooh, and one day she said, Write me a love song. Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful a song about your sweet sweetheart and how nobody can steal me away yeah i am your horse 
Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing Song, and they sing a kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know so for those of you who don't know, which probably most of you guys, I actually collect salt and pepper shakers. Now I don't have a ton of them, but I've tried to collect different ones over the years and you'll kind of see that I have a few holiday ones and then I also have just different ones for different occasions. <laughs> really no occasion at all. You could just use some of these, but um, I've gotten some as gifts and then some that I bought over the years, but I had those little bins little organizers that I got from Walmart they're like the little flexible ones so I'm just gonna put all my salt and pepper shakers in here because this is my first time taking them out and you know putting them up since we moved and I think that this is a good place to keep them for now because I didn't really want to put them all in the kitchen so just trying to you know, get them in place. I have two sets of frogs, apparently. <laughs> I forgot that I had a set of frogs, and then those little darker green frogs I got at Cracker Barrel one day when I was in there. So now I have two sets. I really like elephants, so I have my little elephant set there. I would love to get more. I have a random teacup. I have no idea why, and a little um, Tabasco sauce. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do with all that. But I would definitely like to get more for holidays, but I also got this little set at Cracker Barrel one day. I just thought they were cute, and it's something different than anything else I have, and it's little mushrooms. I just thought that was so adorable. So anyways, i put these back here as well. I tried to organize it by like holidays on one side and then others on the other. So you can kind of see what we've got going on here. It's not perfect, but it'll work. So I've got my dish towels here, and then I've got some tablecloths. I have this little home sign that you can switch out the little um, O there, and then I've got tablecloths in there. And then in this drawer, I have a couple of things. I have a Halloween plate there. I have my little Easter dish. And these little cups, I'm just going to put in here for now. The little cows don't know where I'm going to put them, so they're going to sit right there for now. And I have like little table type games that you can play and I'll probably put more things in there once I go through our game box. But we've also got table runners here, which I think I'm going to run out of space soon on those. But there are my table runners. And then over here I have the little parts for the changing of the sign there for different holidays and occasions. And then I have my little salt and pepper shakers down here. And like I said, I'll probably get more over the years, have to have more space for them, but this will work for now. I feel like I'm missing some because I definitely think I had more than this. So here we are. We've got our final result of the china cabinet. Let me know what you think of this. I think it turned out beautifully. Like I am really, really excited about it. I had kind of envisioned, and sometimes it's hard for me to really envision what something is going to look like, and so I was kind of proud of myself for picking out some items at the store and it really coming together the way that I wanted it to do. Like, I think that it came out even better than I really even expected. So let me know what you think. Do you like it? Is there anything that you would change? Sorry, there's always a glare from the light, but try to show you guys the best I can up close here on how everything looks, but I really, really like how it turned out. So let me know if you have decorating tips, ideas, or what type of video you would like to see next. If you're not subscribed yet, it is totally free to subscribe if you want to hit that red subscribe button below. That way you don't miss any new videos. 
So one finishing touch is this little sign that I also got at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to hang this up over there. I think it's going to be the perfect color for our dining room. So I'm going to go ahead and get this up. So I had Chloe standing back telling me if I had it straight and if I needed to move it at all from one side to the other. So when you see me look back, I'm getting her opinion on this. I'm like, okay, does this look good here? Do we need to move it some? Is it close enough to the cabinet? Does it need to get closer or further away? So she was definitely helping me in deciding the perfect spot to hang it. So that is it for today, you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Like I said, I love how it turned out and I'm really excited about it. I hope that you'll join me for another video soon and I will see you guys later. Bye!